guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to start a new series on my channel and I'm really, really excited about it actually and I hope that you will like this as well. I have decided to call this series Bandwagon and then you might ask like, what the fuck? You know, there is a million, a billion, a trillion makeup products in the world and a lot of them are being tested here on YouTube and reviewed and a lot of the time some of them are really hyped up and there is a jungle of makeup products out there and you don't really have the time to actually try all of the products like it's just overwhelming sometimes like it's so much that it's constantly launching you just don't find the time to try them out and then you kind of just never do it and that is my case for a lot of products and sometimes it isn't just hyped products but just really controversial products or just really talked about products for any any kind of reason and I decided you know what now is the time for me to test all of those products out so even though I'm late to the party to all of these products in this series I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon and try them out so I'm really excited for it and today I actually am starting it out pretty simple and easy just kind of ease into it today's product is a to some people maybe a boring product but it is so freaking hyped up on YouTube I cannot even believe it and I feel like this product is everyone's favorite in that category and that is the Laura Mercier loose translucent setting powder literally like am I right when I say that I feel like this is everyone's favorite powder like ever I feel like I've seen every single beauty guru that I know of use this on YouTube will I end up liking it and will I end up finding my new favorite powder maybe so let's just get into it so as you can see I have already applied all the base makeup the base products before I go in with powder. So for primer, I use the VDL Lumi Layer Primer. This is a glowing primer. For the foundation or CC cream or whatever, I use the YSL Top Secrets CC Cream. It is a CC cream, but it does act like a foundation. It has good coverage. It really evens out my skin. It's actually a little bit too light for me, but I don't mind being a little bit lighter than my tan. It's way worse than having a too dark of a foundation, you know? This is, by the way, in the shade Apricot. So I use this with my Morphe Flawless Finish Sponge all over my face. For concealer, I use the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. This is also very hydrating. It is a serum concealer, so it goes on really hydrating and smooth. Love this concealer. I haven't used this in a while, but I am glad that I could use it today. I also went in with the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter Pen in Light Boost. I have not used this in a while either, but I'm really... I kind of have forgotten about this product. It has been just like laying in my drawer. I, I used to love this so much. Used to use it a lot like so much so now on to the star of the show today <laughs> this is the Laura Mercier loose translucent setting powder and oh my god this is one of the most hyped products I think in my personal opinion on YouTube in the beauty community ever and I am the exception I have not tried this out before, I know I'm so late to the party and this is one of many products that I have thought of so many times and thought like I have to try that because everybody is hyping this up and talking about it left, right and center like it's crazy. So. I finally got my head out of my ass <laughs> and bought it. And yes, I have bought this myself. I feel like this has been popular for years. And I know that this is so many people's holy grail powder. I have heard of people not liking it as well. Don't get me wrong. Like I have heard people thinking that it's way too dry. And that is kind of scary. Like that sounds so scary to me because I have dry skin and like my biggest fear when I use powder is that I will end up looking dry. So I am very curious to see how I feel about this and of course that's the best way of finding out. You gotta try it for yourself. Like you can look at a thousand reviews but you won't really know for sure what you think about it until you try it yourself, you know? So let's go. I'm gonna open it up. Eee! This is the packaging. I love the packaging actually. I didn't know that it was like frosted like this, but it is frosted glass that is not glass. No, it's plastic, but it feels heavy and luxurious. And then the lid here, it has a uh, plasticky, tapey thing on top of it. Ooh, so that is off. And I guess I will just dunk some into the lid, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. 
uh, this is one of those where it's kind of hard the first time when you do it because there's so much powder in it like it's filled up to the rim which is a good thing but from my experience it's kind of hard to dug some out it takes a while because it's so full oh god hello come on you can do it brb okay so i have some into this lid right here i'm gonna start off with that and then i'll dunk some more out of it if i need to i'm gonna bake with it i'm gonna set my face with it as well so as you can see it has a tint to it it's kind of like beigey yellowy i don't mind that i have tried several loose powders with a tint to it and i like it but you know maybe this will look kind of strange i don't know i haven't tried it but it is supposed to be translucent so i'm guessing that it won't look weird. So yeah, okay. So I'm gonna use my sponge that I have used for my other makeup as well. I always like to apply um, baking powder with a sponge. So I'm just gonna dip into here, load my sponge up with this. So I'm gonna just start pressing this underneath my eyes. And I'm also gonna do this on my lid because I always do that. So it looks very matte right away. <laughs> okay, so I have padded most of that into my skin, but I, I have some excess powder and I'm just gonna leave that and then move on to this eye. And I used quite a lot of the powder that was in the lid, so I'm gonna dunk some more out. But yeah, here you can see like before and after. As you can see, it's very like matte and quite smooth underneath here. And then the other eye. And I also probably should mention that I don't normally, like, I don't bake like normal people do. Or, <laughs> like, I don't do the traditional baking method. I don't put on, like, a ton of powder and then leave it on there and then wait for 5 minutes or 10 minutes and brush the excess away. I just take a lot of powder on my sponge and then I just keep on pressing into my skin until the powder is pretty much gone i don't leave it sitting there you know because then i feel like my under eyes just look really crepey and dry because i feel like the longer you leave it on there the drier it gets especially when you have dry skin so like that now i have on the other eye as well and what i always like to do is to also do it on my nose like bake my nose and that's because foundation and concealer and stuff tends to rub off of my nose throughout the day so what i can tell by doing this is that the powder definitely has a brightening highlighting effect so that is good i feel like that's a good thing actually a lot of my baking powders that i use don't brighten or highlight at all i would like them to so i actually love that so now i'm going to take the other side of my sponge and just kind of like go over it until i feel like it's padded into my skin so as you can see when i'm like continuing on tapping it in and stuff it kind of goes away like the excess powder so now i feel like i have done everything that i always do when i bake my under eyes with a loose powder so yeah let's look at how it looks so it's very matte it's very very matte but it looks very smooth actually and oh my god it feels silky smooth like it feels like <laughs> like my under eyes are so soft haven't creased yet so that is good but like it's been five minutes so it doesn't look super dry like at all but it looks matte and it's matte equal to dry no not really i feel like dry is when you can see like your skin just lacks hydration and it's like crepey and like your skin just like I don't know how to explain it. The only place I can feel like it looks a little bit dry is around my nostrils right here. But I am usually very dry around here because, you know, I don't know, it's just a thing. But I also feel like when you have set it like right away, it looks very matte and very like whoop. But after a while, when it has blended in with your skin more and the warmth of your skin and just like everything, like if you have any oils in your skin, it kind of mixes in with that and stuff it kind of looks more natural in a way like do you know what i mean but i am actually very happy with it so far i feel like i have to wait a little bit and see how it looks like in an hour and then i can kind of say what i actually think but right now i feel like it looks good so that was the baking part now i'm going to set the rest of my face with it so i'm taking this brush right here this is a powder brush or large powder brush or something from real techniques into the lid tap up the excess a little bit and i'm just gonna press lightly on top of my face just a really thin layer of powder and when i have set my whole face i kind of just go over it 
like this and just make sure that I have hit every single spot. <laughs> I can definitely tell that I didn't match up to my neck with my foundation, but I will even that out with uh, bronzer, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, so I have set my whole face with it. I feel like if you really want a good matte finish, this is a good powder. I definitely don't mind the matte look at all because I don't look dry. So I feel like I don't look dry, which is amazing. Except for right here around my nostrils. So far, looks really good because it looks so smooth and my face is just so freaking soft and i feel really set i feel like it's really important to me that i feel like my makeup is locked in place one thing that is really important to me when it comes to makeup and base makeup especially is that i want it to last all day long through everything through thick and thin and i need a good powder for that i'm gonna come back in like an hour or so maybe two hours and then i'll say what I actually think about it because I feel like I need an hour or two, okay? I don't want it to be like a full like check-in day or anything and it is evening right now so I don't have time for that anyway but I don't feel like you have to do that with powder. I feel like I have a good enough experience with powder and what I like and what I am looking for in a powder to know in like an hour or two whether or not I think I like it but I need that hour or two so right now it's a quarter past 9 p.m. in the evening so it's quite late right now but I will come back in an hour or two and I'll let you know okay see you then okay you guys so it's been a while since I was here on camera last time so it's been happening a lot on my face since then and you will see that in another video so when I saw you last it was a quarter past nine and it's actually been two and a half hours in five minutes so it's 11 40 p.m. right now so I'm gonna check me out up close and personal I am actually pleasantly surprised my concealer has increased at all actually I am still very much matte except for my highlight but duh nothing has rubbed off at all so that is very good yeah I feel like it looks really good I also want to say that I have obviously put on other products on top and everything that I applied on top of the powder went on super smoothly so you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and say it that i like this powder i just want to preface that this is my first impression first time trying it i'm not like it's not set in stone that this is like the best thing ever but it is really good so far like i'm having a really good skin day today and this powder is the only like new thing really that i'm trying out and when i feel like i have a good skin day the powder is good because the powder can really mess things up for me i am very happy with it that is my verdict as of right now is it worth the hype i would say yes and i get that a lot of people like it of course if i end up not liking it at all or, or if it changes or anything i'm gonna to let you know so far so good okay so that was this video you guys i really hope that you like it i promise that more exciting products in this series will come up very soon as well so yeah that was it i really hope that you liked the video if you did click like don't forget to check me out on my other social media like my instagram and snapchat it will all be right here subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and i'll see you on the next one bye